Hi everyone. I hope everybody is well and healthy. Um, if you watched my wish list video, you know what I want to get this year. So I checked one item of the list and you're going to see it in a minute. I have it right here in my hands. And um, this bag, it's a bag. I want it for a long, long time. And every time I was very close to buying it in boutique, I would wait for too long and price will go up. And it let happen like few times. I mean, like I would get mad. I would say that, no, I'm not gonna buy it anymore. And I waited again. And again, whenever I wanted to get it, finally, price will go up. So, and it got up to the point when I said, no, I'm not going to get it in a boutique. So I was hunting it down on a fashion file. There are a lot of these bags there, a lot. But I wanted in a certain, I wanted in excellent condition, but I also wanted to be newer meaning not condition wise but newer release like not earlier than somewhere from 2014 maybe like my this one this one i got in 2014 but from boutique so for some reason i didn't want it to be too old um and it was not very easy so as i said there were many plenty of bags on fashion file these bags in excellent condition but it was from 2010 from 2008 from 2000 whatever and finally i saw one this bag is according according the uh, number the um on a authentic authenticity card it's from 2014 15 more 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 like from 2015 so finally grabbed it and i got it a while ago i was waiting because usually when i get something from fashion file i like to wait i like to wait to usually i wait like 30 days to take that security tag off it's not 30 days yet, but I made the decision that I'm going to keep it. And I decided it's time to show you. Okay. Yes, it's Chanel reissue in uh, black with a uh, gourd brush hardware. As you can see, tag is still here. Let's snip it and make it mine here all okay. right so eventually i'm gonna do comparison video between my two classic chanel bags this one and this one this is size large this is size jumbo but already i can tell the difference in the weight this is much lighter so Basically, I wanted a classic Chanel bag, smaller than my Jumbo, and bigger than my Mini. And in Boutique, I tried size medium. Uh, there are no size small in this bag. So it starts with, they have Mini, then it jumps to medium, then it goes large, and maybe it goes Jumbo and Maxi, I don't know. I, I was not looking at it. So I was between medium and large. So medium was a little bit too small for me, for my frame. And it was like in between, you know, not mini and not like something which would suit my frame. And um, when I decided on the size, when I tried them on a boutique, then I decided uh, to pull the trigger and find it on pre-loved market. And lately, I am buying only from Fashion File. Who follows me for a while knows what happened to me with my Gucci bag, the one which turned out to be fake. So I don't trust 
any other pre-loved market right now except fashion file and another reason because why i shop on fashion file because i sold a lot of items to them and i have a credit so basically this bag i got fully for a credit i didn't pay a dime in terms of paying cash it was all towards my credit another bonus and i think that's how i'm going to continue to do instead of like i know i said many times that i i am not i don't like to sell items much because see in my mind the fact that i'm still losing money not all the time some items i sold even to fashion file kind of make some money on it but most of the time of course you're gonna lose money uh, a lot or a little so i can't stand it but lately i realized that instead of having something on the shelf which you don't use to sell it to fashion file collect all that money and put it towards something you want so i think that's what i'm gonna try to do okay so let me show this back so as you can tell so it came in excellent condition it came with a dust bag and um dust bag and authentic authenticity card actually it came with two dust bags fashion file dust bag dust bag and original dust bag so as you can tell it's burgundy so much more it's much more lighter and softer than um cc bags it's also double flap so basically inside it's and it's i like that crinkled leather you have wait a minute you have packet here and you have you're probably all familiar with this bag but i'm going to show you anyway lipstick packet packet here monolisa packet there i'm pretty sure it's going to be very durable because of the leather it's crinkled leather pretty so soft you can um again i'm going to repeat myself in every video but i'm five eight that's how that's when it falls on a short that's where it falls right on my above my hip when you wear it like that and i also can do it cross body but it's kind of a little bit high up on me but if you are shorter than me then it's going to be lower obviously very happy very very happy that i'm finally i finally got this and i like that brushed gold i feel like reissue bag it's more understated chanel bag it doesn't scream chanel of course people who love chanel and know chanel know what it is but um so and much lighter as i said previously much lighter well it's smaller in a size but you can tell okay you're gonna see me wearing it a lot and uh i'm gonna be reviewing it pretty soon okay so that's basically it oh so this is a closure like this you just turn the lock and i feel like this version is kind of more masculine maybe I don't know if you can call any Chanel bag masculine, but I feel like it's more masculine than um, CC closure. You know, when I did my um, wish list video, somebody commented that reissue does not does not uh, retain the value as much as uh, CC. You know, I don't from my experience i don't think i agree because so let's comp compare prices i paid six thousand four hundred thirty dollars before tax and this bag right now on chanel's website is 70 in in the size 7400 so i basically saved thousand dollars so which is 
awesome but i don't agree this doesn't retain the value as classic cc because i find it pretty much similar um price on a uh, pre-loved market so okay guys this is this that's what i wanted to show you today and um let me know if you have this bag let me know when did you get it and let me know how much you pay i'm i'm very curious for example this bag which is right now eight thousand dollars my husband paid forty nine hundred in 2012 i believe yeah so let me know okay thank you for watching if you are new consider subscribing um don't forget to press that notification button every time so every time i post a video you get notified if you are my loyal subscriber thank you so much for coming back consider following me on instagram the same name love me some lux and i see you soon in another video bye